Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and today is day two at the Barber Vintage Motorcycle Festival. And today we are going to go to the upper swap meet lot. We're going to take the tram and see what we can find at the upper lot. Montessa. Ooh, Florida plates. Awesome. lot and it has a totally different flavor first off you have the BJMC over there but check out this motocross sidecar thingamajig Armstrong we know about them that's English and they're connected to CCM there's a CCM down in the lower lot Now you really need to be a monkey. Chrome Honda Cub, YSR 50, Kawasaki Turbo. All right, that's the show. That stuff's not for sale. That's for looking. Rockford Toya. Those were Bridgestone. When Bridgestone decided to shut down, this company, Rockford, kept them on for a couple years. Looks like a Spirit Easy Rider tub, but I never seen one with a headlight in the front. Don't know what that is. Because it wouldn't have had upside down forks. Don't know. Uh oh, I see another Montessa. I'm out of money. And it's Saturday, I can't go to the bank. I'll have to walk away. Walk away. Hello. Make sure your fly's up. Out of their 50cc cup. 
talk about slow. Some vintage helmets. DSA 250 tank. Gas tank to the CT70. Sold, sold, sold. S650, 3900 bucks. TX500 in the ugly brown color. GT550. Pink YZ. Those are sort of an item now. Ooh. Gas gas. What year is that? This one? Yeah. What's it, the 300R? 2001. It's a 250. 250. Hey, Mike. Is that, that's a 250RR? That's a 250 two stroke. It's a, called an EC250. EC. Oh, some of these are fuel injected. Is this one of those? No, this is carbureted. This is 2001. Yeah, I'm not totally. No, that's okay. That's okay. I'll shut this off. Is that thing gonna bite me? No, I'll shut it off. <laughs> gonna get me a gas gas. Tubal tacos, one's a persang. And the book. 135. Oh, and it's a 350 Sherpa. And a cute little vintage trailer. Because there's another one. Alright, I did a circle. So now which way do we go? Alright, I the right guy and that beer will work, you know? Here's a yeah, very clean. I'm not the right guy. 175. I is this a CT3? The only critique I'd have is that he spray painted the pipe. And cylinder, it looks like flat stove paint. It should be semi gloss, and you don't need stove paint, it doesn't get that hot. Yeah, it'll burn off on the pipe a little bit, but I use a semi gloss. We're gonna go this way because I see a cute little triumph. Here's a triumph blazer. 250. That's what I wanted when I was growing up. That's very clean. Buell Blast. What's even less of a Harley than half of a Buell? This layout is so weird up here. 
$2,500 Hodaka. Uh-oh. I see a Suzuki Wankel. First year. All right, now, you've seen the Hercules Wankels at my shop. This is... No, it's not a Suzuki Wankel. It's a water buffalo. And some Z1s. So, if you have a Honda and you know the number, you can still get keys. So, remember, which is Vintage Motorcycle Shop? If you have the number on your ignition switch, looks like he can hook you up with a key. I've done that a bunch of times. Dusty Moto Guzzi tank. Jackal frame. There's a Robin. are getting harder to find they but they make repops how much for the tail light uh, it goes to this convert all right sorry it's, uh, uh, it said motor guzzi part so yeah 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 it goes to this uh that, oh that here's one where do you need to be Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. And one of them was on dirt bike. So it's only one crash on a dirt bike. Isn't that crazy oil pool? Oh, we were here before. That's that funky sidecar. Yeah, this this lot, it, it's not that big. And it's hard to navigate because it's all around in these weird circles. Looks like a taco in black. Uh, probably an Alpina. And a Penton. by the double loop they make all kinds of things out of these there's a slim line and a wide line and a thousand dollars is about what you pay this looks different than the King Scorpion I have this is later this has got oil injection mine had a key switch here's the lines for the oil pump I'm gonna say mid 70s what does that say 174 
I'm kind of, eh. I'm going to ask about the Montessa. Clearance in two places in the case. Yeah, Ripping exactly. the teeth. And then that's as fast as you're going to get on time. Yeah. I built years ago. I built years ago. This is a BMW with a Volkswagen motor in it. A lot of living up your BMW, huh? Cider with the back bag. That was an option. See, the seat comes off, and you can switch the seat and the bag. Looks like he replaced the carburetor. I think that's 250 cc's. That's actually pretty weird. I don't know if you can hear me over that Honda 450, but I'm not here to show you the Honda. I wanted to show you this Royal Enfield Continental GT. And this looks like the original English version, not what's made, not what's made in India today. These are correct period pieces. Now you know I'm not a fan of big single cylinder motorcycles, but this is only a 250. So it's about like that Triumph Blazer, which is a dual sport. 250 cc and unlike the Triumph it doesn't drip oil That's pretty much it, unless I miss something, but I'm going back to buy that gas gas. Come on, man. Look at this. The carburetor charge goes directly into the crankcase, not into the cylinder. bottom end is water cooled, not just the cylinder. Wonder where the water pump is. Well, the gas gas wouldn't start. It always happens that way. I hate when that happens. I feel bad for the guy. So, he's gonna light it up and we're gonna get back together. Took the slide so, out and spun it over. I didn't take yeah. it off and let it run out. Yeah. Turned it back up. I think what, maybe two kicks? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's that non-ethanol gas here in Florida. Well, I told you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna try it without even choking it. Let's see what happens. Just choking. Now we're gonna choke it. Well, I'm just curious to see. Yeah. But it's been a little bit since I talked to you, so. And I ain't running since.
still. My hands are shaking. 